Hello students, in lecture 9 of advanced calculus, uh, we will uh, study the concept of uh, Jacobian, then certain examples and exercise for your practice is there. So first, uh, what is the definition of Jacobian? If we have a function of uh, two variables, we have two functions u and v which are the function of two variables x and y. In fact, u is a function of x, y as well as v is a function of x and y. Then the determinant given in this manner is denoted by j and this is called the Jacobian of these functions uv with respect to xy and sometimes it is also denoted by this del uv by del xy or simply j of uv xy and meaning of this is uh, this determinant similarly if we have three functions with respect to the these u v w are functions of x y and z that is the situation is now that u is a function of x, y, z, v is a function of x, y, z, and also w is a function of x, y, z. In that situation, the Jacobian can be obtained in this manner. In fact, it is a determinant of order 3 by 2 in this situation, of order 3 by 3. And here it is determinant of order 2 by 2. Similarly, if we have the case of uh, uh, conversion of the four variables in terms of other four variables then we'll have a determinant of order 4 by 4. So in fact uh, first we understand why uh, we study the concept of Jacobian where it can be applied. So for this I discuss one case. In fact, uh, Jacobian uh, find its application mainly in the calculation of multiple integrals. Suppose I take very simple uh, case here that uh, the value of uh, coordinate x lies from 0 to 1 and y lies between 0 to 1. And suppose I am writing here a problem like this x square y square dx dy. Then uh, instead of uh, finding this value of this double integral by the direct integration in terms of x and y, uh, we can easily find it by converting these variables to uh, some another set of variables. For example, uh, we can see if I put here x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta then obviously this part becomes x is r cos theta and y is r sin theta. So in the numerator we can get r square sin theta cos theta divided by x square plus y square. When you do this then r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta r square is common. So we are left with r square sin square plus cos square becomes 1. Now problem is that uh, instead of this dx and dy what I should write here. Here in fact we should write because we are converting this x in terms of the variable x, r and theta. Similarly y in terms of variable r and theta. So here we should simply write dr d theta and the additional term here is the Jacobian. So when we convert one set of variable to another uh, set of variables or there is a transformation of the variables then we use this Jacobian. Uh, note one more thing that here the limits were for the variable x and y and if you look at the situation here x lies between 0 to 1 and y also lies between 0 to 1. So in fact uh, the reason is in the first uh, quadrant and uh, for these values in the first quadrant, if we look at the situation, uh, the value of r is from 0 to 1 and for theta, it is in the first quadrant from 0 to pi by 2. So I take the value limit of r here 0 to 1 and theta as 0 to pi by 2. 
and now we integrate it but before that you have to find the value of jacobian so how to find the value of jacobian in this case let us see the next example is regarding this we have x equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta then we find the value del x y del r theta and del r theta del x y but for our case which i was discussing here i require only this thing okay so for this the formula is uh, del x y over del r theta is given by this determinant of order 2 by t uh, 2 by 2 here you require del x y del r del x y del theta then del y over del r and del y over del theta so you can see x is r cos theta del x by del r means you are differentiating partially with respect to r this quantity so derivative of r is 1 and cos theta remains as such similarly del x by del theta then r will be as such and you will differentiate this cos theta that will give you minus sin theta so that is del x by del theta in the same manner you find del y over del r and del y over del theta and substitute the values in this determinant and after simplification you get the value of this determinant comes out to be r so that means the jacobian for this type of transformation x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta is r so here in place of this j we should put 0 to pi by 2 0 to 1 r square goes with r square and in place of this i can write r sin theta cos theta and dr d theta so first we integrate with respect to r because the limit of r is given inside so r when you take the integration of r it will be r square by 2 means integration of r dr 0 to 1 this will give you r square by 2 0 to 1 in fact this is 1 by 2 when you put upper limit minus lower limit that you get that gives you 1 by 2 so this integration instead of uh, this integration after simplification the integral inside will get 1 by 2 only and the rest of the things which we are left with is sine theta cos theta d theta you multiply it with 2 2 and divide by 2 you get 1 by 4 0 to pi by 2 this is 2 sine theta cos theta d theta now it becomes the formula of sine 2 theta so that way you can write 1 by 4 0 to pi by 2 sine 2 theta d theta on integration it gives you cos 2 theta by 2 and in fact it is minus cos theta and limit is given from 0 to pi by 2 when you simplify this you get 1 by 8 is there and in fact this is minus cos of in place of theta you get pi by 2 so this is cos pi minus then it becomes plus cos uh, pi again minus minus uh, minus we take outside yeah sorry this is zero in fact this is zero lower limit is zero so we can say uh, cos pi is minus one and cos zero is also one so minus minus this one and plus one two so we get two by eight is equal to this is one by four so that is the answer of this problem so actually uh, our main, main motive in this situation was not the solution of this double integral but i wanted to explain uh, what is the use of this jacobian means jacobian is used when you are transforming a uh, one set of variable to another set of variables and then uh, you are solving the integral then we use this jacobian so in this problem as we have seen the jacobian of this problem and uh, then you are transforming the variable x and y to r theta in that situation using this transformation x equal to r cos theta and y equal to r sin theta we are getting that the value of jacobian comes out to be r now let's discuss the reverse case when we have x equal uh, r square equal to x square plus y square 
and theta is equal to tangent inverse y by x means in this situation the reverse situation is happening you are having the variable r and theta and converting them to in terms of x and y so here you can see the value of jacobian will be this and you simplify you find the value of del x by del r by del x del r by del y del theta by del x del theta by del y you substitute the values here and you get value is r 1 by r so it is easy to verify that del x y divided by del r theta multiply del r del del r theta by del x y is equal to r into r is 1 so exactly in the same manner we can solve this problem here x is in terms of variable xi and eta y in terms of variable xi and eta then we can show that del x y by del xi eta is equal to this here is the problem x equal to this y equal to this quantity and uh, the jacobian will be given by this formula just find the values of del x over del xi from this one and del x by del eta from here again then del y over del xi from this and del y over del eta from this after obtaining these values we substitute the values here inside the determinant after the simplification we get this value so that is what we wanted to prove next example is regarding the spherical polar coordinates suppose you are given the cartesian coordinates x y and z and you want to convert these coordinates to the spherical polar coordinates r theta and phi r theta and phi in this situation the value of jacobian will be uh, you can calculate that it will comes out to be r square sin theta so this is x y and z you find the value of del x by del r del x by del theta and del x by del phi so this will constitute the first row in the determinant and this will constitute exactly in the same manner the second row of the determinant and this will constitute the third row so you can see in the formula the value of uh, jacobian is equal to this the first row second row regarding y or third row regarding z substituting the values here which we have computed in this uh, case so we substitute the values over here inside the determinant and after simplification we can get that this value comes out to be r square sin theta it can be seen from these uh, computations here you take uh, you can see how this r square sin theta comes out of this determinant this uh, r square sin theta uh, you can see sin theta and uh, this sin theta here uh, minus sin sin theta here sin theta here so from this uh, uh, row you can take sin theta outside and uh, we can also take sin theta from some uh, this, this from this column we have taken sin theta one more sin theta must be there which we can take outside sin theta is not sin theta cos phi we put here r cos theta r cos phi r so let's see how this r square is there r r r can be taken from this uh, column and r can be taken from this column because uh, uh, there is you can consider that there is r dot zero so r from this column r from this column gives you r square yes we are getting only one sin theta and that sin theta is corresponding to this uh, column itself sin theta here sin theta so sin theta we are taking from this uh, column so r sin theta from this column and only r from this column so that is giving you r, r square so after that uh, this becomes uh, this, this this determinant reduces to this form and then we simplify 
by the usual procedure of uh, uh, final computation of determinant we can solve and we get the value the whole thing the whole determinant becomes one and the thing which is uh, common outside is left here so this is the exercise for your practice you can solve these problem based on this discussion and all of these you have to find the uh, jacobian of these uh, transformations we have consulted uh, this book hk das advanced engineering mathematics s and company thank you